Tributes are flowing in from all sides of politics for former Labour Party leader Simon Crean. He died suddenly in Berlin after going for his morning exercise while on a trade mission. Simon Crean was just 74. Simon Crean was born into the Labour movement. I owe the party everything because it's given me the opportunity to be what I am. A member of the country's policy engine room for four decades. This uh, shock news has reverberated right around our movement. His dad was Gough Whitlam's Deputy Prime Minister, Frank Crean. By his 30s, Simon was leader of the union movement, helping lead the fight for compulsory super. We know that the Australian working population, that people in this country, that workers today, owe a great debt to Simon Crean. By 1990, he was off to Canberra and straight onto Bob Hawke's front bench, the first of four Labor PMs he would serve in an astonishing 18 portfolios. Elected leader and opposition, he went against the invasion of Iraq. Of course the US alliance is important, but it has to be complemented by commitment to the United Nations. The US-led mission ultimately cost hundreds of thousands of lives and trillions of dollars. But if Crean won the history, he lost the daily politics, Labor turning instead to Mark Layton. How are you, Mark? Good, good. How are you? I'm very well. Good. good to see you. His final major political act was to shift support from Julia Gillard back to Kevin Rudd. Something needs to be done to break this deadlock. The sadness today crossed the political aisle. And he was a very decent human being, a very honourable person. You could shake hands with Simon and you knew that he would honour his word. And I had a great deal of respect for him uh, and I'm very saddened uh, and shocked by his passing. An extraordinary career of achievement where he made a difference in every one of his portfolios. The Crean family says it is devastated. His greatest achievements were his father to Sarah and Emma and loving husband to Carol. Married for over 50 years, Carol rode with him the highs and the lows. A state funeral has already been ordered by the Prime Minister. Hugh Remington for 10 News First.